hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a May I Scrap Lift You on a Wednesday. So if you watched uh, Crystal's video on Monday, you'll see that she mentioned that she might even want to continue this series throughout and she is trying to do a video a day, but mentioned that even 31 days was not enough for all of the wonderful inspiration out there. And I couldn't agree more because I just started getting ready over the weekend for some of the, some of my lovely friends and layouts and things that I wanted to scrap lift. And I have tons. So I thought I would pop in a little bit more often whenever I could. And I will also try and make all of my collaborations this month part of the May I Scrap Lift You series as well. And today's layout doubles uh, for a fun uh, International Scrapbooking Day Challenge over um, on the scrapbooknerd.ca Facebook group. Scrapbooknerd.ca is an online shop here in Canada, a lovely little shop just over in Ontario. Um, which has a lot, a lot of fun goodies, great, great service, a very active Facebook group and shipping, which is quite, quite reasonable because oddly enough, sometimes shipping within Canada is almost worse than international shipping rates. But Joy somehow keeps it to a very reasonable uh, number. Um, and there was some fun challenges on the rainbow theme this weekend. So, first of all, I am scrap lifting my lovely friend Christy, my other partner in scrap from the 30 Days of Sketches. Um, I love Christy's style. I love her approach to scrapbooking in general and how she views our wonderful hobby. Um, and I certainly, certainly, certainly enjoy, enjoy collaborating with her during our 30 days of sketches and at other times. So here is the layout that I am scrap lifting today. It's quite a recent one. It was day 24 of the 30 days of sketches series five. So really just a couple of weeks ago. And I love this layout for many reasons. So let's see what I did. So there we go. Here is my take on it. And let's see how this also counts for the scrapbooknerd.ca challenge. So the first thing I love with this is Christy sort of did one of my types of go-to designs and hers, which is the one-third, two-thirds design. Uh, a little bit of lovely mixed media. Three photos, which for me is sometimes a little bit hard. So I like the challenge of getting sort of some multi-photo on there. And that was one of the requirements for the challenge. Um, I love that the photos are slightly askew and the angles, I like doing that quite a bit and that they are different sizes. Um, and I love also sort of a little bit of the diagonal feel of the embellishment. So I stayed fairly close to Christie's layout on this. And then for the Scrapbook Nerd, it was Dorothy's from, um, Dorothy Guinan from Scrapbook Quebec. Um, I'll put Dorothy's link down below as well to her YouTube channel. And her challenge was green. All of the challenges on Scrapbook Nerd on Saturday were rainbow, a rainbow theme. And that was not necessarily um, the color, for instance, Joy's the first one, which was red, was red carpet, and therefore it was glitz and glam and blinging up your layouts. No red. <laughs> Dorothy had green, and she did include green in her uh, challenge, hence the green. There was also a requirement for three photos. It was a recipe challenge. Three photos, three pattern papers, uh, so I have this one, this one, and this one. S uh, some old supplies and some new supplies. And then the theme of the layout or the subject um, of the layout was renew and refresh and whatever that happened to mean to us. And I sort of followed a little bit the lead of Dorothy as I went into a nature-themed nature layout. 
so. Um, this is a very, very old pattern paper. My two thirds down here from Teresa Collins Life Emporium from 2014. Uh, newer to me, this is my How to Kill a Kit with Style for May based on Indigo and Ivy. Third little pattern paper here. Um, so old and new. My three photos. Green, of course, which you can see quite, quite easily. And then the Renew and Refresh, this layout is in my project focus for the month of May, which is the Amsterdam layout that I'm using. And this is Vondel Park, which is a very, very, very large park in the center of Amsterdam. Um, beautiful oasis within the city where I would go pretty much every single day after walking. I would walk uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of this trip was within the cities. I would try to walk as much as possible, even to the exclusion of public transport when I could. And I would walk some days 20, uh, 20 kilometers or more. And Amsterdam is a very, very walkable city. Um, and I would just come here either at the end of my day or sometimes in the middle of my day, depending on where I was. Uh, to just sit down, relax, listen to maybe a little bit of music, people watch, people going by on their bicycles, walking their dogs, just relaxing. Or I would take my guidebook so I could plan the next days of sightseeing or the next city of sightseeing or whatever I was doing. So that takes care of the lovely challenge portion. Then if I get back... To Christie's. Christy used a floral. I love that she used a floral here for a winter layout. That was another item that caught my eye. I was a little bit more literal in using leaves for a park, but there you go. Uh, this is an older, just as just a Stampin' Up! piece of uh, designer Sears paper that I had in my stash. This chipboard, you see, Christy did the same thing here if she got her title in sort of the little nook and cranny. So one of the things I like about putting my photos a little bit askew is, as you know, I love looking for little nooks and crannies afterwards to do my embellishment. And this type of photo placement is always just perfect. I follow Christy, Christy's lead here in putting my title right in this little nook. Mine is just lovely. I was trying to, I really wanted the word oasis and I had some lovely glittery green alphas. I could not spell oasis. I also had um, some gold. I could not spell oasis. So in the end, it's lovely. This is chipboard from a One Canoe 2 chipboard set. This chipboard is, I don't even know how long I've had that in my stash. It's been in my bowl forever and ever. My mixed media here is a little bit of a combination of old and new as I used dazzlers in sour apple you see it's quite a bright lime green and i really wanted to tone it down here a little bit because i do have all sorts of different greens on here but because they were all a little muted and different muted shades of green i felt they all went together but i really wanted to mute this dazzlers a little bit so i went in and got my vicky booten iridescent glaze and it did perfectly because if you look here, you can see that, can, are you, am I doing that right? That it is um, muted a little bit from the bright, bright, bright lime green. Then if you see here, Christy had a little bit of a break uh, here in her mixed media, a little break, it comes back and then another little break. I did the same thing here. I put a few little wood veneers just to contain it and to bring in the wood element that Christy had on her page. I did my journaling here. So a lovely and calm oasis after day of after a day of walking uh, or to plan the next day. Then I came down here and did the little cluster. Christy has a little cluster down here. I used this tag from the Indigo and Ivy. This uh, just one strip of the same patterned paper here, a gold chipboard heart from the One Canoe 2, a little bit of a doily. This is a Stampin' Up! doily in that sort of same minty green that we find throughout here. 
and did my little cluster. And this says, this happened July 2005, Amsterdam Vondel Park, because it says place and date. So I got that down there. And then finally, up in this little nook and cranny, um, this is from the Indigo and Ivy, Happiness. And you'll say, oh, but it's a blue. And you don't have blue anywhere else. You're right. But it's sort of a grayish blue. And I think it, and because it's again in the muted tones of the Indigo and Ivy, I think it works. So there you go. And I'm putting it there and I like it. And it tucked in perfectly, perfect sizing. I used the rest of that doily, another little gold heart, so that I would have the repeat of the gold. And there you go. So a scrap lift of my lovely friend, Christy. I will, of course, have her channel linked down below as well as her Instagram. And then again, the five items for Dorothy's challenge over on scrapbooknerd.ca. Three pattern papers, three uh, photos, green, old and new, and renew and refresh. So thank you for joining me. I'll be back on Saturday with another May I Scrap with You. Don't forget, Crystal and I and Amber will be joining us over on Instagram this time. We'll be back with our Sketch Sunday series on Sunday, the 10th. We're starting that back up. And um, we will have a special guest. We will have Becky this week. And I will be back throughout May with some more lovely scrap lifts of my lovely friends. Have a wonderful day and thanks for being here. Bye.